Hey, what's going on, guys? Today we got a little bit of a different one. Uh, we're talking about more specifically geared towards having a truck gun or a vehicle gun in Illinois. Um, or if, if your state is a communist shithole as well and has similar laws, uh, this also might apply to you. But make sure you check your local and state laws before doing any of this. This is not financial advice. I am not a lawyer. Uh, you know, whatever. Although I do encourage people to live as constitutionally as they are comfortable with. Think about it. Anyway, truck gun, vehicle gun. In my case, it is a truck gun for a goddamn Chevy Colorado. Got more horsepower and torque than a goddamn tornado. Anywho, <laughs> all the Ford Ranger dudes are fucking woo. Um. So anyway, truck gun, vehicle gun, uh, in Illinois, in the state of Illinois, you are allowed to transport any firearm as long as it is unloaded and in a case. Case is not necessarily specified. It could be anything that latches with Velcro, zips with a zipper, buttons with some kind of closure, um, just seals technically and legally speaking, a Ziploc bag is a container. Okay, and unloaded means the firearm itself is unloaded. There is not one in the chamber, and there is no loaded magazine feeding device inserted into the firearm. That being said, it's perfectly fine for there to be one right next to it, laying on top of it, scratching it all up inside of the case, just as well as it's not, or just as long as it's not inserted into the gun. So unloaded in a case, and then at the end of the day, in this communist shithole, you do have to have a valid FOID card, which is a firearm owner's identification card, which is uh, repugnant to the Constitution because it is indeed making a right into a privilege by issuing a license and a fee. I believe Murdoch versus Penn Supreme Court case clearly states that cannot be helmsed ever. We find ourselves in this situation, and I know that me ranting and rambling is not necessarily why you guys want to watch this video and probably have already clicked off, and if you've already clicked off this video, you probably hate the Second Amendment, so peace. You get another one of those if you watch it all the way through, so stay tuned. <laughs> anyway, vehicle bag gun, right? Okay, so um, let's take a look at it. This bag is a, a little shorty bag. Uh, basically from TAC-6. I do not have any affiliation with TAC-6 whatsoever. Uh, and it's not even TAC-6, it's Allen. Um, they make all types of, you know, soft cases, and I believe even some hard cases and different stuff. Uh, for firearms, I have several of their products. Uh, it does say that it is made in Myanmar. Um, so, whatever. Um is what it is but it's quality enough made i like it uh it wasn't crazy money either and i really dig the setup and uh, i'm gonna explain why here in a second but anyway for the vehicle bag you know i'm running a short gun because we're worried about space okay so space inside the vehicle this is a nice short bag compact bag that gives me other features uh along with the option of having the gun in there obviously with me uh and and i like it i like it for that because in Illinois, the gun, even though it's an AR pistol, all right, so let's just go ahead, let's just go ahead and bust it open. Real nice, easy, smooth on the zippers. Show you guys how it goes. Um, inside there right now for display purposes uh, is an arrow, and uh, you can see that it has this sleeve here to, uh, to capture the gun and keep the gun somewhat indexed uh, and snug and at the same time protect potentially whatever optics or lasers or lights or whatever that you have on the gun. Uh, this is a Viridian uh, HS1. Awesome, awesome little hand stop laser. This is actually pretty freaking cool in the process of messing around with that, testing that. Uh, Streamlight TLR1, no big deal. Um, put a four, four prong on there, but <laughs> it's a tuning fork. Hollow Sun, um, the gold dot one standard. I forget the model number on it. They probably have it. The 403GD, the He 403RGD. There we go. Um, just for all you gear junkies out there, there's a look at the gun. Complete arrow lower slapped on to a complete arrow upper, 10.5 inch. 
um, SBA3, Magpul, you know, needs irons. This is not like fight ready. I just picked this up not that long ago and I've been messing with it and always, always, always got other stuff in the works, but this is going to be a go-to, uh, once it is finally built. Again, I'm using it to test out some new stuff, the gold dot from Holosun, um, the Viridian, huge shout out to Viridian for sending that out. That's awesome, and I'm really, really digging it. So stay tuned for the videos on that. But again, going to run this gun, going to prove this gun, but I'm going to set it up um, to be a go-to either home defense or truck gun or just whatever life and liberty gun. Uh, it, it's small enough but big enough, and it's well-made enough being an arrow I like to call Diet BCM uh, to get the job done. So... Really, really liking that. Going to be a full review and, and how I kit it out and all that coming soon uh, per usual. But, so I got the gun, right? I got the gun. And in theory, you know, again, in transporting would be perfectly legal for me to, let's pretend this was loaded, uh, to have one there. Let's pretend this was loaded to have one there. And if it fits, it ships, you know, close it up, whatever. And uh, that's fine. And if I needed the gun, okay, grab the gun. Six seconds to safety, tap rack, and, and we're in the fight, you know. So, again, not going to be nearly as quick or efficient as actually having the gun loaded like you could in a free state. But living where we do in Illinois or states like Illinois, uh, these are the things that we have to contend with. So, let's set ourselves up for success. And uh, I would argue, yeah, you could definitely stuff a mag or two in there with the gun. It's not going to be a bad thing to have spare mags with spare ammo in them. Uh, pretty common sense thing. But, you know, whatever. If you don't want to scratch the gun or, you know, you think you're going to have enough, uh, that's fine. Because here, front pocket, um, we've got two mag pouches, okay? So it'll hold, you know, two, two mags. So I got 60 rounds or, you know... If you're downloading them, 29, 28, whatever, yada, yada. But two full rifle mags, okay? Um, these are more straight pockets, so I'm not super certain if they will accommodate AK mags that well. I'm sure you could probably stuff them in there, but either way, so we got the gun. Let's say I didn't have any spare mags in here with the gun. I still have a rifle, well, pistol, okay, because NFA and... All gun laws are infringements, but regardless, I digress. I got I got the gun and two mags, so 60 rounds. And again, I could have more mags in the bag with the GAT. Um, and then what else I got? We got a larger, like, standard admin-style pocket right here. What, what can we do with that? Um, boom. Lynx Defense uh, Ankle Med Kit made in the USA. Beautiful, beautiful. They've sent this to me. It's been years now. Uh, I wear it all the time. I utilize it. And this is an ankle rig, okay, uh, I probably should wash this <laughs> now that I'm seeing it through the viewfinder. Um, but you can have this, and it's got, you know, tension pneumothorax, I've got duct tape, I've got uh, SWAT T, I've got a rats in here, I've got gauze, I've got Sharpie, I've, I've got everything I need, basically, for, you know, combat style, trauma, injuries, whatever, uh, at least more than, a lot more than not having anything, so medical, obviously you can set it up too, you can have just like a deployable IFAC pouch, but this, uh, you might be grabbing this and leaving from your vehicle, so having this that you could put on and then keep with you and accessible, uh, I like the idea of having like a, a deployable ankle kit in this type of setup, and if I do end up running this bag as a dedicated like vehicle bag, uh, kind of setup. I will probably utilize this or something like this uh, for that. But also, bear in mind you, if you are not going to run medical, or at least in this pouch, um, boom, another two, probably four mags. And it'll still kind of Velcro. So, you know, take one out, maybe get three mags. It completely Velcros, whatever. So more mags, you know, more mags. You can really party. <laughs> you know, no big deal. But that's, that. it's not a bad option, you know, to, to stuff some more ammo in there. But again, you are more likely to plug a hole than put a hole. So I would argue medical is just as, if not more important than the fancy high-speed, low-drag tactical accoutrement that we like to talk about and get so get so crazy over and, and argue and debate in the comment section. But, you know, medical people, for real, check it out. Uh, you can check out my medic in the link in the, in the link tree, and they've got, like, pre-built kits you can buy, and they have pretty solid stuff. Here is, like, a more flat pocket, but you've got space, again, for... 
Um, little doodads and knickknacks. Little handheld flashlight. This is a Surefire EDC L2-T. Okay, it's a 1,000 lumen light. Um, or actually, it's 1,200 lumen. A little bit of shot cord on there, so you could do one of these things. And uh, retain the gun. Still reload a gun, charge a gun, do whatever you got to do, clear malfunction, and still have retention of your light and utilize your light, handheld light. Um, you know, you could just get shot cord off Amazon or whatever, no big deal. Uh, mechanics gloves, okay, never, never a bad, bad idea to have laying around. These are like the fast fit ones, you just slip them on. Uh, you know, stuff around vehicles, there's glass, you don't want to get all cut up. You're running a gun, it's getting hot, you don't want to get burnt. Um, whatever gloves you know never a bad idea so between this bag right here i have a surefire handheld i got some mechanics gloves i've got an ankle medical kit from Lynx defense link in the description box below uh awesome awesome kit i've got two mags plus you know i could carry easily another two or three inside the case with the gun um but let's say two to three two to four mags you know of ammo plus the gun dot light even a laser it will accommodate, it will hold it, and it's pretty nicely padded, pretty nicely padded. It's uh, from the opposite side, honestly, it doesn't look super freaking uh, tactical. It looks almost, you know, obviously it, it could be some kind of, you know, racket case or whatever. I don't, I see, the way that I look and dress, uh, which isn't going to change, uh, <laughs> They're not going to assume that I'm walking down the street with a Stradivarius. I don't believe so. You know, having it being more of an overt case is not the end of the world for me. But, you know, from the one side, it does look a little bit more plain. It still kind of gives off, hey, there's a gun in here, but it could also be your tennis racket or whatever. It is a smaller case. Uh, it's filling out the frame here, but in person, it you could see, at least from this side, how you could mistake it for a tennis racket case or something like that. Um... But either way, it, it doesn't matter about that, and you can choose to run a more gray man setup if you'd like. I would argue this really, for the most part, is just going to be, you know, in and out of the vehicle, uh, from the house to the vehicle, vehicle to wherever. You know, you, some people just leave the guns in the trucks, lock them down, whatever. If you're going to be taking it in and out of the truck every day, uh, maybe you would want a, a more gray man bag or something, but still... You know, people that take notice, take notice. They're still going to wonder, what are you doing? You know, you don't look like the kind of guy to to go play the uh, the clarinet or whatever. You know, who knows? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> but anyway, people, um, you're looking at it, right? So this is the whole kit and caboodle, as it were. And we still got a little bit of room in here for some, some chem lights and some zip ties and, you know, a, a knife or or whatever. But at the end of the day for our state for how we would have to carry uh, and again other states like ours uh we do have still some capabilities and again you know feel free to live as constitutionally as you feel comfortable but with the case unloaded per the law in the bag in the container um gun with a dot, with a light, with even a laser. Obviously, you could have the flip-up irons, and I will, uh, coming soon. You got at least four mags, okay? You've got medical supplies, you've got gloves, uh, a flashlight, a handheld flashlight, because again, you're, you're going to be in and around your vehicle. This is your truck gun. So, you know, it's going to be small. It's going to have to take up, you know, not a lot of space, depending on where you're going to store it, you know, under the seat or in the bed or in the toolbox or, or, or however you plan on doing this. Um, maybe you got, you know, a cap or a tonneau or whatever. Um, but having it with you, it's important in today's day and age to have these things with you, uh, have some kit with you. You could also even have like a, a chest rig or something set up um, because most likely just all these loose mags are going to have to stuff in your pocket. Uh, and depending on what you wear, uh, you, you know, you might not be able to take all of them with you or at least as efficiently as possible. Uh, so it all, it all depends. But just to get you guys thinking, just to give you guys ideas, uh, because in today's day and age with all the craziness going on it's not bad to be able to you know have some preventative backup plans 
um, in place. You, you don't know. You might get caught in the middle of a crazy riot and, uh, you know, the, the place is ablaze and you just want to get home to your family. Uh, having some stuff on hand to help guide the way, as it were, maybe not such a bad idea. So anyway, that's my take on it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Make sure, please, people, to check out the first three links in the description box below. Those are to help you fight for your God-given, inalienable, constitutionally protected and reaffirmed, but inherent by birth gun rights, people, okay? This protects all the other rights that we have. Without this, nothing else matters because we can't do anything about it. Um, so prepare yourself. Set yourself up for success. You can cobble together some kit, a gun, a dedicated gun, a bag gun, a, a kit gun, a car gun, a whatever, um, and just be prepared. Have stuff. Hopefully you never have to use this. Hopefully I never have to use this other than for filming mediocre YouTube content and having fun on the range. But you better have it in case you need it. Okay, end of story. Um, it is what it is. If you guys want to help support the channel and uh, what we do here, you can check out the pinned comments in the comment section or the link tree, anything in the description box below. But again, the first three are the most important people. Okay, we the people, our responsibility. Let's stand up and do our parts. And uh, stay tuned. I got a lot more videos coming up. Review, you know, and, and impressions on the gold dot and how that looks at night during the day while you're running a light. The Viridian HS1. Again, huge shout out to Viridian for sending this out this thing is awesome uh the arrow the the build itself and uh we'll see you know how i this might not be the final configuration obviously i get, gotta get some irons on the gun you know we'll see how we end up setting it up but i picked up this little case again specifically the allen tac 6 for this gun just because it's a decent little you know range bag it's a decent little transport case but um after I was looking at it and thinking at you know thinking about it I'm like hey got some extra mags got some medical got some extra tools and stuff and it's not a bad little kit rig or kit bag or you know a, a contained unit with the rifle and all the support equipment that it needs pistol okay ATF go screw yourself um but yeah I don't know I'll quit talking at you guys I appreciate you guys being here make sure you smash the thumbs up button share the video comment down below help drive the the anti-gun algorithm in my favor for once in a blue moon <laughs> and I appreciate you guys we'll catch you later peace